Okay, so we're going to uh, explain a little bit more clearly what the difference between generic and non-generic reference is. So we're going to start with the definition. So, the reference of a noun phrase is generic if it refers to an entire set or subset or a notion. The reference is non-generic when it refers to specific items or instances of a notion, whether you can identify them precisely or not. So this definition must be learned by heart, and we're going to see now if you can make the difference between specific, well, gen generic and non-generic references. So your friends in class had to click on a series of slides. We're going now to comment only on the answers. I like working with people. This is generic because it refers to a whole set. This is normally pretty clear. I like working with people who say what they think. This is still generic, uh, even though it refers to a subset. Okay? The, the set has been narrowed down. It's not just people. It's people who say what they think, but it's still a generality. You can't identify the reference. While in the following sentence, I like the people I work with, you are in a non-generic reference context. Okay? You can identify the people you work with. You know the reference. Do you like coffee? This is not pose, pose any problem. You're referring to the whole set, therefore this is generic. Do you like the coffee we had after dinner? Here, in, in the case of non-generic reference, the coffee is clearly identified thanks to the uh, relative clause that we had after dinner. Do you like strong black coffee? This is a tricky one that usually makes people very confused. And it is actually generic because we're still referring to a subset. Okay, it's not coffee. It's strong black coffee. It's still a subcategory of coffee and considered as generic. You will have the opportunity to practice a little more on Ecompus thanks to this activity. And uh, you can also uh, try and practice your analytic uh, skills by writing uh, an analysis of the f on, f on two forms in the text that is coming in the next slide. So remember the, uh, the analysis, the method. So you need to describe the form first and then determine whether the reference is generic or non-generic to explain the choice of article. You might want to give counterexamples if necessary and even translate into French if you deem it necessary. So here is the text and uh, your job is to comment on the two words in bold characters, books and mystery novels, and write a paragraph that you can post on the forum next to the video. Okay, And you can practice on this notion on um, uh, Ecompus 3.6 and you have here an activity on uh, adjectives preceded by the article. Let's turn now to complexify things a little bit to uh, another distinction between specific and non-specific. So this is within the non-generic reference. You must also distinguish between specific and non-specific references. And the distinction, as you will see, can be tricky. So you really need to pay attention to the context of the noun phrase you are studying. So remember that uh, tree, okay, a reference can be generic and non-generic, so you can identify that. But when it is non-generic, you can also have the choice between a specific and a non-specific reference, okay? Most of the time it's going to be specific, but sometimes you will have a hard time deciding whether the reference is specific or non-specific. So let's take a look at a few examples. So I'm going to marry a doctor. She lives in Seattle, and I want to marry a doctor. She should be rich and famous. In the first sentence, the reference is specific. The reference is clearly identified. You are mentioning her for the first time, hence the use of the indefinite article. But she has a clear reality. Among the entire set of doctors, you have selected one that you are going to marry. Okay, you could even give, give us her name. On the contrary, in the second sentence, the reference is non-specific because the reference has no actual existence. It only has a virtual reality. So something that is important to know is that non-specific reference belong to imaginary or virtual reality. Um, you will find... Uh, space builders, which typically open a space for virtual reality for non-specific reference, like non-affirmative constructions, like yes or no questions, negations, imperatives, conditionals, and constructions involving model verbs or verbs of want, need, or desire. 
What these constructions have in common is that the speaker signals that she does not make any claims about the factual existence of a referent, but only sees it as having virtual existence. So this notion of virtuality is key here to understand the difference between specific and non-specific uh, references. So here is a definition you might want to learn by heart. A reference is specific when the referent can be clearly identified and has an actual reality. It is non-specific when the reference has no actual reference but only a virtual reality. Okay. So again, a series of sentences uh, that I'm going to comment on. I bought a new computer yesterday. It's a MacBook Pro. This is specific. Okay, you can identify the reference. It's actually in your hand because you just bought it. All right. But when you say, I need a new computer, mine has broken down, this is non-specific. You are in a context of expressing a need. So the computer has no uh, actual reality. It's still virtual. It's something you need, you want. All right? The milkshake this sell at Starbucks contains about a 1,000 calories. So here it's actually a very specific milkshake. You can actually buy it. It's, it has actual existence. Well, if you say, if I have a milkshake now, it will upset my stomach. This is non-specific. You are in a conditional context. You didn't drink any milkshake, okay? But if you have one now, one that actually does not exist because you haven't either bought it or um, made it, then nothing is going to happen. So the milkshake here has only a virtual reality. He wants to be an English teacher. Same thing here. It's non-specific. Okay, he wants to be. This is something that he plans on doing. He's not one yet, okay? So this is... A fantasy for him for the moment. But when you say, we have a new English teacher, she looks just like Michelle Pfeiffer. This is specific. You're actually talking about an actual person whose existence you can, you know, confirm. 